everybody so welcome back first of all um to our channel it's me again missy and my husband akeem we actually um as talked about earlier today this is going to be the pretty much everything that we got from the stores that we went to yesterday and today so we're gonna have a like i don't even want to lie to y'all and say it's going to be a mini haul because it's far from many but just some things that we picked up for the house we actually went to home goods target and then to the container store. And we really just picked up some things for like organization for the house, um, some decor, different things like that. So with that being said, some of the things that we picked up, uh, I'm gonna kind of start in the kitchen area. And we have an enormous amount of uh, storage, drawer, drawer storage in the kitchen. And so organizing that right now, everything is just kind of in there with those little grippers, like the little mat grippers. So hopefully we, can have a little bit more organization with some of the things that we got but this is just one of those little bamboo boxes and we got this from target and it just holds some of the um like some of like the longer utensils and different things like that oh, okay. so then we also have the flatware organizer and this one actually came from the container store um it's adjustable so uh we have some pretty big drawers or at least our utensil drawer is the widest one so we got this from the container store and then we actually have a smaller one from Target. And this is a threshold brand. So, like Akeem said, we're just going to see which one works best. Uh-oh. We're going to see which one works best. As you can see, the one for the container store is ridiculously bigger. It says it expands from 13 inches to 22 inches wide. I mean, just looking at the quality, just you holding up side by side, mm -hmm. the one from the container store seems much more doable more heavy duty and the one from target seems very um it is a little flimsy, little flimsy yeah. yeah so I can, see, I can see which way that's going to go quickly so keeping it with more kitchen items um i'm like a sucker for kitchen towels so uh i like to buy kitchen towels and then i tell everybody don't touch them and then usually one of the kids grab one and then they get it dirty so then after it's dirty then i'm like all right we might as well use it uh however i bought these for use um, so I got these from Target as well. These are also Threshold. You're going to see like a lot of Threshold and probably Project 62 from Target because those are just some of my favorite lines that they carry. But there is five in here and I just went with the gray and white to keep up with the theme of the kitchen, which is going to be like the grays and whites that you see around the house. But then we have like the black and white and then like the bamboo and raw wood. So you'll see once we pull it all together. Uh, we got some oven mitts. For Akeem, these are pretty sturdy. They have like a silicone for grabbing. So we got two of these. Nice size oven mitts. And those are by made by design. So Target made by design. And then I picked up four of these from the one spot. So I absolutely love the one spot. I love going in there. I love finding little knickknacks that they have. The part that really bothers me is like when you go to the one spot, um, if you don't get it that season, you're not going to see it again. Like, it's very rare that they bring things back. So even if I see it and I feel like I can do something with it, I grab it. If I can't, I take it back or I give it away, whatever the case may be. So I got these. And these are um, beer flights, but we don't drink beer. So they'll be something else. But these are cardboard. So I got the two black ones and then I got, uh -oh. and then I got two of these white ones. So when we're doing like little dinner parties or out there on the patio, just some fun, cute stuff. And then some other stuff for Zuri. It's her and Austin went with us. I'm kind of venturing over to Home Goods. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I do love coffee mugs. Um, and I, love, I really love anything like, I don't know, that goes along with my aesthetics. So we actually got these. I thought these were great because they said coffee on them and they were gray. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and um, they had the little tray. So we got these in gray and then we got the white ones. And then those will just go in the, I don't even know what you want to call that, but it's our little coffee bar area. Coffee so, nook or whatever. So these, yeah, our little coffee nook. And these were $10 each at Home Goods. Those are some of my favorite finds. I, I don't know what it is about the gray one. I think it's just the, the minimalistic of it all. Mm -hmm. But I, li I like them a lot. Yeah, I like the gray a lot as well. Do y'all like the gray or the white ones better? And then uh, these were $5. Just some of the big ticket items. Um, I don't know how much these were. 
There's no price on these, so I don't know how much these were. The oven mitts were about four or five dollars a piece. The bamboo. Dang, I just think none of these had pricing. Do you remember how much these were? Um, can't they recall. Like seven dollars, but I can't remember. I don't have a receipt right now. But at least these two. We thought this was broke. Turns out it's not. Um, but it is pretty flimsy. I mean, none of these have. Okay, well, do you at least know how much the container store one was? No, it's on my head. <laughs> Alright, so we'll insert those below or, you know, if you're still interested, just comment and, you know, we have been really good with replying back, so you can trust that we're going to reply, no problem. We'll try to link to as many things as possible below, but I believe the container, I believe it was about somewhere between $25 and $30. Okay. Alright, so um, we are actually in need of, like I mentioned earlier, a towel holder, so... I think I showed this in the vlog earlier, um, but if I didn't show it, this is from Threshold, and it is, there's no price. There's literally no price on any of these things, which is, I mean, I guess it's typical Target. But again, we'll link it down below, but I got the wooden one because I want to keep up with like, I feel like the house can be cold with a lot of the black and white and grays. So we wanted to add a little bit of warmth into the house. Not too much because I do like how modern the house feels but i still want it to be cozy because hell we live here so i did pick these up where did i get these from home goods i got these from home goods and these are 12.99 and the only reason why i got these is because the kids are currently eating at the island until we get a dining room table and they will spill anything and like if it's kool-aid if it's orange pop Anything kind of, if it sits on the, the course, it, it it doesn't stain, but it's not easy to get up. So I'm just like, maybe if I try these little wipe off vinyl mats, then it'll just be an easier cleanup and I don't have to worry about them making a mess and then not getting to it until after they finish eating. So I got these and it is eight of these. So I got these because I'm like, I could just pretty much, these were from the dollar spot for $5. And I got these because I'm like, I could just, you always need storage. So I can pop these underneath my um, bathroom sink or at least underneath Zuri's bathroom sink and organize that way. That's what Target gets you. You said these are from the dollar spot for $5. Yeah, I mean, it used to be called the dollar spot, but then they raised the prices. and then it's, it it's brilliant marketing by them because I, you automatically think, oh, it's going to be a dollar. And then anything over there that's worth buying is at least three bucks. So I got these just for little organizers in their rooms. And again, I got these from the Bullseye. Okay, instead of the dollar spot. I'll call it the Bullseye because that's what it's called now. And these were $5 a piece. But Zuri's room is like, I, I, for the most of it, I got all of their bedroom stuff from Target. And so these kind of just goes up in home goods. But these go with the theme of what they have. So You said those are under cabinet storage? Yeah. Oh. So we needed drinking glasses. I mentioned in the vlog that we had no, well, we got drinking glasses. We don't yeah, like, have we don't have complete sets anymore because you know they break over the years, um, and you know you just lose lose them to damage and moving. So not it is what that. it is. So we got these. These are kind of old school to me. I appreciate them, um, but I just feel like they're kind of old school. And these were actually a gift from. I hope it's nobody that's gonna watch. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> was it my mom? It's not offensive. Yeah, it's, they it was were my a gift from my mother-in-law. Oh, I didn't um, worry about that. But, I, you know, they were, they're good sturdy glasses. You know, they got the little bubble designs on the inside. But if I'm being honest, they weren't what I was, look, I was looking for. However, I'm not against them. I'm going to keep them. But, um, so I wanted something a little more sleek. So, the kids do not use our glasses because they've broken so many of them. So they have their own little set of plastics, with the exception of Aiden and, and Amir, of course. Those are our two oldest boys. But so we got the Sherbrooke tumbler set, 12 glasses, and it has the 8 ounce and I believe 4 ounces, or is it 8 and 6 ounces? Uh -huh. 18 and 13 fluid ounces. So 6 and 6 of each of those. What I like about them is different because a lot of glasses don't have the, the false or heavy bottle. Mm -hmm. that these have so aesthetically it's a little bit different because if you didn't even look at the one that you don't like that my mom bought you that has served as well for so long i just said i don't the like bottom it. Of, you, <laughs> you don't said you, do that. You, we can run the tape back i but, just said i don't like it. i just said it wasn't ideal for what i was looking for 
But anyway, but those have that, I don't know the technical term, but that false bottom or that elongated bottom, I like the way it looks, so. And I know you're not talking because she had got us, um, so we were like really into like Did we the, get those from Target or Home Goods? Yeah, those from Target. That's the threshold. Oh, I got the other things from. Okay, never mind. Those I think were like 22 and some change. Yeah. So, um, and you made me forget about the plates, but that's neither here nor there. These came from Home Goods, and uh, these are, uh, let's see, set of four double old fashioned glasses, and these were $7.99, and they do look like, they do look real old school. Yeah, so those those are specifically for my whiskey. Um, I'm a huge, huge whiskey drinker, bourbon, um, you name it. So um, I have some regular, clean, more modern glasses, but I did want to get some, you know, nice old school ones that are very reminiscent of that cognac and that whiskey. So those are perfect. Yeah, but how many whiskey glasses you gonna buy? You have like three sets. I know, but it, I have sisters for. You know, like a cognac. I have wider mouths so if I'm doing like an old fashioned. Those, if you do more so doing it straight. So there's different. It's almost like a wine glass. You have some that are for red wine, some are for white wines. Um, some if you're serving room temp, some if you're serving chill, serve, some if you're serving it like a sangria. So they all serve different purposes. So speaking of that, so we are actually turning our butler's pantry into our bar area so to speak so that's where we have like our we currently have like our champagnes wine his whiskey couple liquor bottles underneath the bottom and then we have the glasses up at the top comment below if you all want us to do like a review because we we want to take some of the cabinets and turn them into like the clear the glass inserts and add you know just some fun cute stuff for entertaining and uh if you're interested let us know. We'll go ahead and get that video, you know, work on, on putting that video together and um, buying the different things that we need for that. But keeping up with the glasses, I actually, so two things. I thought these were wine glasses, but I was like, these would be great for water too, cause you know. I don't even know, what the, I don't even remember you buying those, I don't know. But as I'm looking at it, it says four water glasses. I was like, oh wow, so. But if they, these have been like, I saw these on Amazon, but they had like the more elongated stem, so they were a little bit taller. I saw these on Amazon and a lot more people have been buying them. They were actually um, shorter here. I may or may not have a picture to insert. Um, Those but are these fire. are actually water glasses. Those these are actually fire. water glasses. So I'm like, with the stem not being so long, I'm like, I can definitely drink water out of these. These are the, cute. Th that's so black and bougie. I love it. It's, <laughs> But low key, you could do so many different. Even if you don't use it for water, you can use them for dessert. You can use them for desserts. You can use them for like I can envision certain drinks that will look great in it because of the shape mm -hmm. like and the, the color. Sangrias and stuff. Name is sangrias, but this is this one. It's a I forget the name of it, but let's just say the hue um, of the drink. So it starts off darker blue on the bottom, and it fades to almost a clear because you top it off with Sprite. Oh, like what we did for or well, what you did for quarantine. Um, kind of like that, but it's, it's, it's literally goes from a gradient from a dark blue to a light blue mm -hmm. until a clear at the top. And then you pop it with like a blood orange with that red or a grapefruit or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then a pineapple slice in it too. So it's, I'm going to do something special with them. So I like I, them though. Those are fire. I do. I really like these. I'm glad I grabbed them. But they only had one. Um, we're like within what, five miles. We're, we're within like five miles of two home goods. So I'm going to check the other one to see if they have them too. Um, but these were, for, for all four of these, these were $24.99, and they were by Moto or Scott Switzel. I don't know, but again, I don't know if we can link these, but I definitely have a picture for you all. But this is what they look like. They know how to use Google. So dope. Just type that in and see what comes up. And then Akeem actually grabbed this while I was in line, but I'm glad he did. And this is um, a bold, the, it's the bold cover, uh, the bold cover, um, Copy book inserts and so it has all of the covers and as you can see Rihanna's on this one and this is for the 25th anniversary this came from home goods for $29.99 this was actually in my Amazon cart it was yeah I was looking at it last night I forget how much it was but it was that I I'm gonna have to look again but yeah this was in my Amazon cart yeah I, I saw it and I know you want to decorate and have a lot of those coffee table picturesque books throughout the house in different areas yeah so like, you, babe, I, I love it. fashion. 
I love home decor. Like I'm into a little bit of everything. I think I'm crafty. So I mean, I'm just I'm a I'm a ball of you know interesting things. So I'm so excited I got this one, and then I also have like an Audrey Hepburn book that um. <laughs> so one of our kids came down. He probably he. But um, so yeah, so a couple of these I'll show up more later. But these will be going into my shared office with the king. Um, or maybe, maybe I'll put them in my closet. So we'll see about that later. So the next couple of things I got were actually for the bathroom. So, um, I am going to finish the bathroom probably within the next couple of days. I think I got everything that I need. Where's the, where's the tall thing? What tall thing? The one that I said I want to go above the towel rack. Oh, it's right here. All right, can you just hold it up? So, above my towel rack, I actually have this wall shelf, and I got that from Home Goods. Here, I don't want to block your beautiful face, baby. Here you go. It's all right. Um, I got this from Home Goods for $39.99. And can you see it? So, it's just like some little shallow shelves with the black and white wood color theme. So, that's going to go above my, top, my towel rack. It's either that or some wall art, but so far, it's going to be that. So, once the king hangs that up, then um, I just want to add a couple more things. I've shown pictures on my Instagram of the bathroom so far, but I, there was like a bunch of things that I still want to add. And I do got to pick up like a plant or something. But I wanted to add color because somebody said it was too much white in the bathroom. And who was that? You. Oh, and I did he, so. And I wanted a relaxing spa. Luxury bathroom theme, and he didn't understand the assignment, but I did. But you know, because we got to share the bathroom, I went ahead and I added color. So I think the sea green is a great color to add to the bathroom. I feel like it's still light, I feel like it's still relaxing. So for now, I picked up some organic um, washcloths, and these were $7.99, but these are only for decor, they so don't use them, of course. <laughs> I've been with you for 12 years. I know better. I also have the Sea Kelp uh, Hand and Nail Cream from Scottish Fine Soaps. This was $4.99. And when you see the uh, bathroom haul and review, you'll see that I have quite a few of the um, Scottish Fine Soaps. So I got another box of the Sea Kelp as well. It was upside down, but I think they get it. Uh -oh. Are you sure? Because it's upside mm -hmm. down back here. Yeah, I see. Okay, but this was $7.99. And then I just got some microfiber cloths for the kitchen. These were $5.99 from Home Goods. All of this came from Home Goods. Got our dog a little treat. Maybe you got to Uno. And so I actually got two of these. So this, I wanted to get a tray for my side of the bathroom. And this is pretty much where I will put these things in. And then I. It was like a really big bag. So I wanted to have like an area where I have my diffuser. I have like some cute stuff just for decor. So I got these things to go in here. But my dilemma is, do I want to use this tray that I got from Home Goods for $16.99? Or do I want to use this tray that I got from Home Goods for $24.99 and then it's like a lazy Susan. So Sound like you got some tough decisions because they both are Well I'm nice. gonna put them up there, decorate them, and then see how I like it. Because I had in addition to that, I have bought a um is that it's a big jar of um um shoot bath salts. Is that it? So I got this big old jar of bath salts that I want to put in there as well. And this was $7.99 from Home Goods. And this is the Bath Minerals Greek Lavender for Deep Relax. So got these. Can y'all see it? Hopefully you can. So it will like just kind of go something like that. Again, you know, some decor, trying to be fancy. And then let's see, wrapping it up, we actually got container for our dog food for our golden doodle uno he is a little over a year old and a hell razor <laughs> and then actually comes with um wheels and that was 
$26.99 and it is it holds up to 45 pounds and then we're trying to well not we this is Akeem. me i got you <laughs> akeem is actually setting up the spice rack akeem does the majority of the cooking only because he doesn't really cook traditional you know chicken uh green beans and corn dinner he's more so like oh we're gonna have lamb chops for dinner Oh, I'm gonna make a lobster bisque buttery sauce with some gravy on the side type. Like that's his vibe. So I let him do him. I've never right? cooked that second one. If they don't <laughs> they I don't want them judging me on that. No lobster bisque with no dang on gravy. But I think we get the picture. Yeah, so we got these for the spice rack. So he's actually going to test these out, but he is going I'm gonna to do it now, actually. organize his spice rack. Um, I had different plans for it, but that's all him, so I'm gonna let him do that. So, I told y'all earlier the cabinet. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but we have these really narrow cabinets um, up here that I want to see if this is wide enough. I don't really like acrylic, I would prefer wood, but um, oh, yeah, that's plenty of space, so it works. But it's still, I could probably have what another another two inches on the side. So I want something probably a little bigger. The one I wanted from Container Store, I'm all the way up here. They can't even see me. So the one I wanted from the Container Store, um, it's well bonus. So I have to order it, and they'll be delivering it to the store, and I have to go pick it up Tuesday. So it's a metal one that fits perfectly in here, and it pulls out. So. You know, ideally that's perfect, so I don't have to reach. And again, I don't like this acrylic, that acrylic plastic look. So it's metal, the other one. So that's what I like better. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you finish. Yeah. All right. So I mentioned in the last video. Actually, let me talk about these. So we got these from Sir La Tap, Sir La Tap, Sir so, La Tab. So yeah, we went to what I'm sure 99% of you call Sir La Table. And I heard it pronounced one way once before, and I couldn't remember. So I asked the guy, "How do you pronounce it correctly?" He said it's called Sir La Tab. Yeah. Which is. He, was like, what is, he said you don't say the bowl. You don't say the. Table. He said it. Like, like how he tried to explain it was wrong. Yeah, it was like you don't say the bowl. It's, it's tab, not table. Table is tab. Mm -hmm. It's Sir La Tab. So. Sir La Tab. So you don't say that Ellie, I guess. Um, Sir La Table to me. No, but. <laughs> so we got these. Um, what are these? Electronic, right? Yeah, so they're okay. electric. Um, pepper and salt mills and salt mills to there we go to grind you know freshly cracked salt and cracked pepper um, I don't use black pepper a lot when I'm cooking but when I do use it I want it to be fresh and cracked um, as opposed to in the can I'm, I'm kind of picky like that yeah, and then um, we actually got some grout cleaner and some granite and stone cleaner for the cabinets. And we got these from Home Goods for $4.99 and $4.49. So we're going to test these out and hopefully they work on this marble and then the grout. Quartz. Yeah, um, oh my God. The quartz and then the. Well, those don't really get dirty. Anyway, the grout. It's more so for the floor because things fall on the floor. No, that's what. So I'll show them real quick. So hold on, give me a second. Oh, the brushes. Mm-hmm. Somebody still gotta get down here. <laughs> <laughs> the kid. So I found these attachments online that you connect to any drill, and you can just go to work that way to help getting out, you know, tougher stains on the on the tile between the grout lines or even on the backsplash. So. And these, I think it was, it's a bunch of sponges from, you know, more denser or softer uh, uh, brushes, um, all kind of things. And it was only, you gotta hold up a little bit. oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, right. There you go. So, and these were, I think it was like 19 or 20 different ones and it was 20 or 30 bucks for, for the set. But yeah. That's the drill comes separately, of course. <laughs> yeah. But we were, we were just joking. I mean, our kids had chores, but like, we not, we not. We were just joking. All right, so another thing that I actually picked up, I picked up two of these, and these are gonna be inventory holders for my boutique. I have a women's online clothing boutique. So I'm always looking for ways to make things easier, um, to run a little bit smoother. So I feel like these would help with just grabbing 
you know, different dresses, different inventories while I'm packing. And uh, these were $24.99. And I only got two of these just so I can put them on a rack and see how I like them. And then if they work, I'll go back and get more. If not, then I'll just have to find a different solution. So Father's Day is coming up soon. And let me try to get some of this stuff out of the way. But Father's Day is coming up soon. And um, I wanted to get a king this for like a year now. My baby took care of me, y'all. <laughs> so I've been wanting to get this for him for like a year now. And I really, like Father's Day had passed and I forgot all about it. And then um, Valentine's Day, I was looking at it and he was like, don't buy me anything for Valentine's Day. And so I'm like, are you sure? But then I ended up getting him, like we both exchanged um, like cards and candy because neither one of us wanted anything because we had just went shopping for new perfumes and colognes and then we were getting stuff ready for the house. But we're in the house. Father's Day is actually this upcoming weekend and we were at Sir La Tab. And is it Sir La Tab or Sir La Tab? Tab? tab. We, just, we just went through it. But is it Tab or Tab? Sir La Tab. Sir La Tab. <laughs> So anyway, they were on Amazon, and I want to say Williams and Sonoma, but uh, we were at, we were there, and I saw it, and I'm like, well, let's go ahead and grab it today, and he was like, no, don't worry about it, and I'm like, well, no, because I'm not coming back out of here, it's a nice little drive, so I went ahead and got this from there, and it is a smoking box, and because Akeem is a huge whiskey drinker. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I'm here, baby, I got this, I got this, so y'all, check this out, if you ever been to a restaurant and... You had a smoke cocktail, then you already know uh, how that completely changes. Oh, they can't see my hair. Right? Yeah, I got you. How it completely changes the the enjoyment of the you know whatever drink that you're having. But in addition to that, there's so much more you can do with this. You could do smoke desserts. Um, just you know, just um, so let me think. Off the top of my head, for example, you could like I could imagine doing a smoked banana pudding. Um, putting banana pudding in here after you've already plated it or in like those glasses that you showed earlier Putting it in here for a minute and smoking it with something um, uh, Creme brulees or anything like that So I envision a whole bunch of different things that you can make with the strawberry shortcakes Add a little smokiness flavor to it in addition to the you know the mixed drinks the spirits the whole nine So I am going to put this to use for myself for you for others. I thank you I might mm -hmm. use this tonight, actually. Can I open it now, or do I have to wait till Father's Day? I don't know. I thought about waiting, but I mean that's not your only gift, which is why I didn't mind us grabbing it today. So you can go ahead and open it now if you want to, or this weekend. But we got a couple more surprises for you. The kids and I looked out. So this means I must be a good daddy, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. Nah, you do good. You do good. Oh yeah, I'm putting this bad boy to use. So I actually just, we, it's this restaurant that's uh, not too far from us that specializes in whiskey. So I was a restaurant, but they have a whiskey bar. They don't even have like cognac things. So it's mainly whiskey. And the very first drink that I had there came in a smoke box like this. I think this exact same one. So I am beyond thrilled to have this finally. Um, I know you said it's hard to buy me gifts. It is so hard to buy you gifts. I'm the type of person I can spend the world on everybody else it's tough for me to spend money on myself and then it's tough for me to let people spend a lot of money on me so i thank you i have uh more things to say but i cut it short but i appreciate it nonetheless put this to work i'm gonna make some videos and stuff to post too so thank you appreciate it but yeah i mean just let us know if you're interested in anything up here if you want to know more information or what we plan on doing with it um again we'll be doing more reviews and and, and um what like uh kitchen showings and a little bit of everything i mean we're getting ready to welcome you guys into our lives so we hope that you enjoy it here you'll see more of our house more of our kids and different things like that uh without any further ado thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and then, wait a minute wait if you made it this far that means you're a real og if you made it this far right right smoking in the comment section I will pick one person randomly if they write smoking in the comment section and cash at them a hundred dollars. hundred bucks. So write smoking in the comment section if you made it thus far and the first person I see do it will get the hundred dollar cash app. Alright, sounds perfect. You're excluded. And your, nobody in your family can win either. <laughs>
<laughs> so I already know you. That's not fair. They're loyal. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.